Well, I really tried to get a polar bear challenge run in today, and those people did not even see me coming. They did not even look. I have no clue I'm behind them or anything. Normal Chicago driving, nothing unusual, nothing to get upset about. Happens about every other ride. So like I was saying, I tried to get a polar bear challenge ride in today and I put the thermometer out. I thought this is gonna be an easy one. It's 26 degrees at O'Hare Airport. Just east of me, usually it's a warmer reading than my area. If it's 26, I figured here it'd be even less than that. But no, 34 degrees. So, not going to get a polar bear challenge official video in this time. But I have a subject I want to talk about. I uh, got a question from a new, newer moto vlogger. Bling Quinches is her name. If you get a chance, go check out the channel. And she asked me a question. I was kind of just... Uh, making a funny comment as I usually do on somebody's video and uh, <clears throat> she asked me what are the rules of moto vlogging and I thought that is kind of interesting because as a community of moto vloggers we do kind of have our own set of unwritten rules <clears throat> and I suppose if you wanted to get detailed we could probably write pages and pages about what various writers think are the unofficial rules of moto vlogging but I like keeping things simple. So what I've written down, I call it the Suburban Writer Four Simple Rules of Moto Vlogging. And as I tell everybody, rules are also meant to be broken. So I think you can use these as general guidelines and they don't necessarily apply to everybody. Rule number one, five minutes of writing with only a song playing in the background during your ride is not a moto vlog. It's not terrible. Some of them can be fairly interesting, but it's not a moto vlog, period. Rule number two. There's a sweet spot for the length of a moto vlog. It's seven minutes. This has been pretty much a universal agreement as we've discussed this and this issue has come up with many times. It seems like there's about a 90% agreement on this that seven minutes is the sweet spot. So unless you are super fascinating and somehow can just keep people totally enthralled, it's best to keep your videos around seven minutes in length. Number three, tell us a little bit about who you are in several videos. Tell us the good parts, tell us the bad parts. It's the quickest way to become a part of the moto vlogging community. Number four, if you're around long enough, you'll have a few trolls and haters that are going to follow you around. Block and ignore them. One mental case on a keyboard is not all that important in the scheme of things. Now I'll have to say that's one I've probably violated myself on several occasions. In fact, on the site before I came here to YouTube, where there were a bunch of us moto vloggers at the time. I actually got letters from some of my friends saying, Chuck, stop playing around with the trolls. So I think number four, I probably violated more than any moto vlog rule. So I want to bring this out as a tag to whoever is watching this. Give your opinion on this, or I would even prefer if you could answer this in a video yourself. And, uh, you don't necessarily even have to be a moto vlogger that's been around for a long time. If you're rather new and you've seen even one or two things that you think is kind of, seems to you to be an unwritten rule of moto vlogging, talk a little bit about it. Add to this list if you'd like to. Say on one of these things on the list, I totally got it wrong and blew it. That's fine too. And uh, I'd love if you'd even post it here as a video comment to my video. So even though I wasn't able to get an official polar bear challenge vlog in today because of the temperature, I'd like to thank Glenn Quinches for the question to give me a subject to vlog about.
Maybe we should have that as a rule five. It helps in moto vlogs if somebody gives you a subject to talk about. I hear people say that a lot. I like to make more moto vlogs, but I don't know what subject to talk about. Ask people questions, answer the questions. It makes for good subjects.